Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a magic search and highlight feature in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have here this search box. If we search anything in this box, like I am just putting here some text like W, automatically it has highlighted the employee name wherein W is coming. Okay, and let's say now I am putting here N then you can see only this is the name wherein we have w and n okay so dynamically it is highlighting that now let's say you want to search in the supervisor name you can simply go to this drop down and select here the supervisor and you can simply type here let's say pk then all employee available under pk is highlighted or even if you type only p so that is highlighted if i'm typing here w employees coming under William are highlighted or R for Raj okay if I select here employee name automatically search will be changed to the employee name so this is totally dynamic you can use this in your dashboard or the employee performance report to search the dynamically now I will explain you step by step how you can create this in Microsoft Excel and friends this will be working in all of the excel version not like only office 365 so let's start without delay i'm going to add a new workbook so this is new workbook now let's copy the data so we have this data let's copy whole data i'm pasting the data as the value and number format this one now let's quickly format this data select this whole data go to the home tab align this center center reduce the size font size and then we will put some border here so you can go to the more borders let's select this border dotted and from here we can select any color let's say i'm selecting this color outline inside click on ok we will select the header and we will select some color so let's say i'm selecting this color you can choose any color and make this white font bold okay so data is ready go to the view and remove the grid lines from here now we will create the search box to create the search box i'll go to the insert and i will insert a rectangle so i'll take this rectangle which is rounded corner or you can take it from here also just drag that rectangle here pick the yellow handle move to the right hand side now go to the shape outline and let's choose this outline and reduce the weight of the outline let's take this half point go to the fill and take the white fill this one all right now i'll go to the insert again and i will insert another rectangle but this time i will take this rectangle which is top corner rounded and just click here reduce the size pick this yellow handle and change the corner radius okay now go to the save format and rotate this rotate left 90 and let's put this here we will put over the previous rectangle and here we will fill this color and same outline this one all right so it is looking like the part of the existing rectangle now i'll go to the insert and i will insert an icon we can insert the icon for search so let's say i'm selecting this icon insert make it smaller and keep this here make it more smaller go to the graphic format and change the graphic fill as white color this one now select the other rectangles right click and make it a group all right keep it in the center now i will select the first row and reduce the column width of the first column and the last column also this column i and select the first row this one increase the row height go to the home and use merge and center take here this dark blue color font white make this bold slightly 
bigger font and here you can type let's say employee performance data or whatever you want to type okay so you can give the title for your data let's keep this here now let's go to the developer tab and insert ActiveX text box so this is the text box for ActiveX control and drag the text box here all right right click and go to the properties of this text box first of all back style just make it transparent then special effect let's take flat okay and now go to the linked cell o1 whatever cell you want so i'm taking the o1 now select the existing group and right click make it a final group come out from the design mode now if i click i'll go to the text box and i can start typing here so whatever i type on o1 is appearing all right now let's copy the employee name and supervisor we have these two text column to search if you have more column you can copy them on column p paste it as transpose and value so we have employee name and supervisor here all right now go to the insert and insert a text box here and put the text as search in and let's keep this here go to the save format save outline as no outline save fill as no fill now go to the developer tab again insert and this time we will insert a form control combo box this one and just drag the combo box here right click on the combo box go to the format control input range select this input range and cell link select this cell link click on ok all right so if i select here anything let's say first employee name is coming on the top so if it is showing one if i select supervisor it is showing two all right now quickly we will give the name so this o1 is the search text so i'll go to the formula and click on name manager and new so let's put here as search text so this is search text close and this q1 is basically search in if search in value is 2 then we will search in supervisor column is search in value is 1 then we will search in employee name column we can use the shortcut key also alt m and n to create the new name and we can say this is search in okay okay all right this cell is for the employee name and this is for the supervisor name so i can type here alt m and n okay so this is showing the b save in this one we will remove the dollar sign from the row number okay employee name okay click on okay similarly we will create for the supervisor name click anywhere in the supervisor name press alt m and n and this is the supervisor remove the dollar sign before saving click on ok so we have created these names we can freeze this so select this row go to the view and freeze pens this one so the header is freeze let me show you what formula we will use so we will use here and function then the logic one we will take search text should not be blank then only it will highlight the another logic we will use here search function the excel search function and the find text we will use the search text whatever we have type okay search text within now logically we will check if we have selected the supervisor then we will search in the supervisor if we have selected employee name then we will select the employee name so we can use here if function if search in value this one is equal to 2 2 is for supervisor then we will search in the supervisor this one in the else case i am saying i will always search in the name okay either it is one or it is uh, nothing you have selected then it then it will search in employee name 
if that text is available then it will return some number otherwise it will return error so i can type here is error is error and just close this if it is a error that means we are not finding that so we will reverse that using the not function so this should not be an error right and just close hit the enter so we are getting this formula now finally copy this formula and again go to the name manager alt m and n and let's create a name as is highlight okay and simply paste that formula click on okay close delete this and now i will select this whole data and i will press alt o d click on new use a formula to determine which cell to format and here i will take the simple one formula that is is highlight you can press f3 also to open the paste name window and select this one is highlight format let's take this color click on okay okay apply and okay so we have put pk there in the supervisor it is highlighting if i will put here w then it is highlighting for william if i select here employee name then it is highlighting the employees wherein w is there okay and let me show you if i type here m a g then you can see here okay or if i type here r u then you can see it is highlighting for this ruby okay and here also r u rashel all right friends so this is working perfectly so friends that is how you can create this magical search and highlight feature in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching